I've kind of moved operations to the back because this is really all that's left. Kind of sorting through that landscape material, some of the stuff I've been able to reuse, for example, did a little filling of that corner. I pulled up these little <laughs> blocks. I'm not gonna, I think that's kind of corny. I'm gonna use the other side and I'm gonna do a walkway here. So here's where the crushed stone will go and uh, any just anywhere the roof line here drains off. I think I'll just fill this whole corner. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna figure out what to do with the fence. I think I'm gonna put up some metal panels. They seem to be the cheapest thing and, and uh, it's attractive here too. All right, so uh, I'll park the trailer and uh, try to get rid of some of this other stuff. Something else that's pretty unique to Arizona, or Southwest, I should say, compared to the Northeast, uh, is you shop for landscape stone here, kind of like the way people shop for, for uh, grass. So I just ordered four tons of this fractured rock. Uh, in those areas I talked about earlier for my front yard I um, I got what was pea stone but what's funny is how people come and they look over and try to decide what kind of rock to get you see all the varieties here and this is what I got from my front yard the dark pea gravel so uh, just a kind of unique thing I'll just show you what uh, I thought these were competing uh, gravel places but they actually have different kinds of stone and you see all the different whatever color you want in your yard but once you pick it it's hard to change it just because it's a lot of work to dig it out anyway I've just done my shopping. I ordered four tons and uh, they'll dump it in the back, I hope, if they can get in. And uh, we'll uh, see how that goes. All right, see you later. Okay, just a quick, uh, I don't know, look what I'm, where I'm at kind of video. Uh, been cleaning out over at the house and uh, I'm at the dump. So just to show you, I've got uh, the family car, service car. And uh, that's only because here at the dump, if I were to take my work van that has my lettering on it, it would cost me, well, more than twice the cost. They look at it as commercial trash, whereas as residential trash, which it is, it came from my house, it's only $15 a load. Anyway, so I'm just hooking up this new trailer does it look new new old trailer that i bought oh it has come in very handy um just i just undid it because of uh it's got such a short wheelbase that i can uh, undo it and just tip it back and help clear it out so anyway So uh, this trailer is uh, looks kind of beat, and in some ways it is. It needs all new plywood because it's been sitting. 
see it's all rotted out. But otherwise the frame, the wheels, the lights, everything works good. Here's another issue and it comes down, it bends my license plate. <laughs> I'm going to do something here. So this might be a project in itself. All right. So I think we're ready to go. Anyway, this is an easy trip. It only takes, um, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes from the house. And, uh, you know, it's nice just to have a dump trailer, which is kind of like a dumpster that you, you have. So uh, we've been working on the backyard, kind of cleaning up. We got the front yard, a lot of this debris uh, was palms and bush branches and things like that that I was able to uh, cut back, rake out, and the front yard looks really good. I'll show you that. We've got some, um, uh, only little thing in the back is um, moving my stuff out and uh, putting up a fence and getting some fractured, are tumbled rocks. I have to decide which I want. They have different textures. I'm gonna go over there now and pick that out. Oops, sorry about that. And uh, yeah, so we're heading out here to show you with this mountain. We're on a mountain, but as you can see, you can see the mountain. call it a landfill but they're not filling anything I think they're just making a, a, a mountain fill anyway I'll check back with you